new technologies have arrived and uh, I am lucky to have been trained at Washington University where they have prepared us for these technologies. This hybrid room allows patients to have high-tech care right in their community. So right where they take their kids to school, go to the library, do their grocery shopping, it's in their community. I help to pay for this hybrid room because I believe in it. I believe it should be in this community and I believe we should take care of patients where they live. Traditional treatments for aortic stenosis have involved open heart surgery, but with this newer procedure, we're able to offer treatments for patients who might otherwise be too sick to get open heart surgery. When we see a patient who's been able to have a TAVR procedure, uh, it's an amazing recovery. When I first met Lily, she was a very frail lady, was stuck in a wheelchair, audibly wheezing. I, I didn't even need a stethoscope or a chest x-ray to be able to tell that she was suffering. Lily uh, came after an extensive evaluation of her uh, condition. Uh, is a patient who had a severely stenotic aortic valve but was also characterized by multiple risk factors, factors that were not making her a candidate for standard surgical aortic valve replacement. The timing was perfect. She came when the hybrid room was already set up, everybody was trained and ready to go, and magically she became the first patient. Before her procedure, she wasn't able to walk. She was having difficulty breathing. She wasn't able to do the things that gave her joy. And that joy is shopping or her grandkids. It tuckered her out. She didn't have the energy. And one of the really neat things about this procedure is within hours, that feeling has changed. They, are, they want to get up. They want to move. They want to get back to enjoying their life. And what brings them joy? Mm -hmm.